At Kroger, we finally found the Lay's Cheddar Jalapeno uh, potato chips. We've been looking for these for a while. And the new Poppable Sea Salt and Vinegar. Uh, Kevin bought a Rayburn's Meal for his Lunchtime Review channel that he has not tried. This is the Pretzel Bread Ham and Swiss. Uh, we bought some Russell Stover uh, Rabbits here. Uh, we have White Fudge. We have Sour Green Apple. We have milk chocolate and dark chocolate. Uh, we bought some pepperoni, some shredded hash brown potatoes, five Honeycrisp apples, some Lifesavers gummies. Believe it or not, we've never reviewed the regular ones. Uh, we found these uh, Smarty Squashies, which we've reviewed some uh, from the United Kingdom that look identical to this, but since they're in the United States and they're under a different name, I'll try them. Um, I bet they're gonna be the same thing though. These are Brock's uh, Tiny Jelly Bird Eggs. These are Orchard Fruit. And these are Welch's Jelly Beans. Um, and they have all kinds of different flavors too. At Walmart, we bought the Diet Dr. Pepper Cream Soda. We bought the uh, regular and we bought the Diet. We bought, someone want us, wants us to review this Pepperidge Farm Chocolate Collection. So it says there are seven cookies in here, seven different varieties, and you get 31 in the box. Uh, we bought some bread. Um, I bought the new Birch Benders. This is a brownie cup. These are keto. And this is the cookie cup. And this one is the cake cup. I bought a, a box of Nature Valley Crunchy Granola Bars. There was a 50 cent coupon on these too, so that was good. Uh, we bought the Duncan Hines Unicorn Cake Cup. Uh, we, I bought some Swiffer Wet. I bought some Quilted Northern Toilet Paper. And Kevin and I bought a um, electric skillet. We did not need a new one, and actually this is a really small one. It's, um, and cheap. It's small, yes, and it was only like 18 bucks. So it, yes, it was small and cheap, but and it's Spanish. Um, we, <laughs> yeah, that's probably the wrong side. Yeah. It is. <laughs> um, we um, have an electric skillet that is a, a long one. It's, it's a really good size. And um, here lately with um, uh, Andrew being on keto and Christina's vegetarian, of course, we just haven't been cooking uh, great big batches of chicken, like 20 pieces at a time or something. And so this will be good for more like five or six pieces that we've been cooking lately. So we decided it'd be good to have a small one um, for those smaller meals. So I figured I would add this to the grocery haul video. I wanted to show you how big this was out of the box. Uh, we still need to wash it. Um, but it's, it's just a really good size for probably uh, five, if you cook like uh, chicken thighs, that's what we cook. You could probably fit five or six chicken thighs in here and you could fit a lot of legs. But so you get that in the box and then here's your controller. And this is just the Mainstays brand. It's the Walmart brand, uh, but I'm sure it'll work just fine. And for 18 bucks, um, you know, I think that's a pretty good deal. At Home Goods, uh, Kevin has gotten really, really expert at spotting the Mason Cash Balls. So he found me uh, three Mason Cash Balls. Uh, this is a, uh, he found me two mixing bowls and I don't have any of this size. Um, and I, I love the size. It, I don't know if it, it's 1.1 liter, uh, 37 ounces. Uh, so those were $9.99 each. And then I bought the big one uh, in the white. And I have uh, plenty of this size, but I did not have any white. So, of course, I'm a Mason Cash fanatic, and so I had to get all three of them. Um, they've gotten a lot of their Easter candy and stuff out. They keep getting more every week. This is the Holdsworth, and it is a, a brand from the United Kingdom. We've, had, we've reviewed this brand before, but not these items. This is the Popcorn and Peanut Paradise. These are the fluttery, buttery fruit and nut ca uh, case. As a matter of fact, a lady was looking at these with me and she said, those look so good. And I told her, I said, well, this is a really good brand. And if you go to the United Kingdom, you're going to pay twice as much there as you do here. It's weird. Um, these are Hoppy Happy Easter Bunnies. And then I bought that same brand, Holdsworth. I bought strawberries and Marc de Champagne truffles with popping candy espresso martini cocktail truffles which i think sounds really good and these are just the great british chocolates so there are a bunch of different ones in here and of course we'll review all of these and then 
we found the Copper's Chocolate. These are Robin's Egg Marshmallows Milk Chocolate. These are ice cream malt balls. They have dark milk and white. Then we walked in World Market and I found these. Uh, copper chocolate speckled malt balls. So I'm thinking these are going to taste exactly the same. I don't know. Well, are these? These are the malt balls. These say marshmallow. So I don't know. We'll just we'll review them and we'll see. Um, and it's funny because in the comments on some videos uh, recently, we've been talking a lot about this Beachman's uh, chewing gum. Uh, so I found the Beachman's, the Clove, and the Blackjack. We will review these. Um, it's funny because they were 99 cents at World Market, but we saw them later on at Cracker Barrel for only 79 cents. Normally Cracker Barrel is more expensive, but not on this gum. Also at World Market, we bought some Pizzelles. We bought the banana flavored, the coconut, and the red velvet. We bought some Coolmore toffee, uh, uh, Coolmore cakes from they're made in Ireland. We bought the toffee, the chocolate fudge cake, and the carrot cake. I found these uh, split uh, brand. This is uh, two grape foods in one fast pack. So you have peanut butter and grape. You have almond butter and strawberry. You have cashew butter and sour cherry. They, I looked at their website. They do have uh, a raspberry and blueberry, but I didn't see those in World Market. That doesn't mean they didn't have them. I could have overlooked them. Uh, this was in the Easter section. This is Buck Butler's Chocolate Eggs, and it was kind of pricey. It was $10, but the reason I got it is because you get four, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, you get eight varieties of chocolate in this one package. Um, then we bought the Beaches. Uh, this is uh, dark chocolate in mint eggs. This is milk chocolate caramel crunch eggs, and then we have dark chocolate fondant cream eggs. These were actually 50% off. They are Magic Dates Energy Bites. So uh, we bought the hazelnut, the coconut, and the blueberry. And then I saw these, and I uh, these remind me of the dip eggs that are very popular over in like Germany and the United Kingdom. Um, and they're Argenta uh, chocolate cream, so I figured we could review those. I've never heard of these before. Annie B's. This is a dark chocolate sea, uh, dark chocolate covered sea salt. These are just sea salt, and then these are just original caramels with without the sea salt. <laughs> uh, Kevin spotted these Harry and David. These are dark chocolate covered coconuts, and these are milk chocolate covered cherries. Uh, we uh, Kevin spotted these. I would have never seen them. They were kind of under a table. Uh, they are Tapatio, Original Picante Popcorn, and Lemon and Picante Popcorn. They, and I said they were, they were literally under a table. Um, this is the Kios. We've had this brand before and we loved them. They're made in Ireland, potato chips. These are the um, Flame Grilled Irish Steak and we've never had those. And then back in the back, um, we spotted these in a market, and I didn't buy them. And I said, you know, I really wish I had bought those. Well, we saw them again on World Market. Uh, Tony's Chocolate Only. Um, and you get five varieties. You get milk chocolate, dark chocolate, caramel sea salt, hazelnut, and almond sea salt in the container. And then we also bought some Burt's. These are British hand-cooked potato chips. We have sea salt and malt vinegar. Mature cheddar and green onion and Thai sweet chili. At Kroger, we bought two cans of cream of chicken, just regular cream of chicken. We bought the private selection. These are um, milks. They're flavored milks. So we have Belgian chocolate, cherry cordial, and sea salt caramel. I just thought they really sounded good. Um, Ashley is terrified of, of the coronavirus, so she tells me that she says we need to stock up, Mom, for the coronavirus. I said, what do, what do you mean? She said we need to get water and pasta. So that's her way of stocking up on this. So for literally, she said water and pasta. So I know she likes rotini. They didn't have the Kroger brown rotini, so I got the Barella, and I bought some uh, penne pastas. I bought two of those. I bought two elbow macaronis. Uh, we bought some sour cream. I bought two shredded hash brown potatoes, the Orita. Uh, we bought some mild cheddar cheese. Kevin said this was on sale. Two for, two five. for five. So mild cheddar we bought, and then we bought three triple cheddars. Ashley wanted some of, of the farm rich loaded potato skins. She loves these things. 
Uh, we bought some steaks, three steaks. These are ribeyes. Yeah, I think um, I'll put them in the freezer. Yeah, um, and and we saved twenty bucks on them. So we bought another Bessie's Revenge pizza because it's on sale again this week. And then um, I posted a picture on my Instagram, uh, Tammy's Clock. If you want to follow it, uh, there will be a link in the description. Uh, but these are street tacos. They actually have four varieties, but they hadn't put one out yet. So we bought the Southwest veggie, the chicken with green chilies, and the carnitas. They also are going to have one with like red across here, and it says brisket. And Kevin will be trying all of those on his Lunchtime Review channel. And then... Uh, per Ashley's instructions, I bought some water. She said, you know, if we don't need it, it's fine. We'll always drink it. So we bought two 24 packs of water and we'll be right back to show you everything else we got. At Cracker Barrel, we bought this uh, Dolish cookie dough. And this is a shelf-stable cookie dough. You don't have to keep it in the refrigerator or anything like that. I've seen it before at World Market, but I've only seen like one variety. I think I've seen it also too at Five Below, but once again, there was one variety. Cracker Barrel had all uh, had three varieties, so I bought all three. Um, they had chocolate chip, triple chocolate brownie, and birthday cake. Uh, it has a spoon included, so I can't wait to try that. Um, we also bought some drinks at Cracker Barrel. I'll start from the back. We bought the Knee High Grape, Verner, uh, Verner's, uh, the original ginger soda, uh, Dr. Enough. It says enough is enough. And this is in, uh, Enjoy Double Cola. And then we have a Swamp Pop. Uh, what kind is this? It's like Swamp. strawberry. Uh, yeah, it does look like strawberry. Uh, it's, I know, I don't know what that says. Punch, Poncha Lucha. I don't know how to say that. Um, and then we have a Swamp Pop Praline Cream Soda. Uh, these are funky little containers. This is a uh, Bundaberg ginger beer. Oh, it's Australian family owned. That's cool. Um, and then this one is a Bundaberg root beer. So that's cool. Australian family owned. I didn't see that before. Um, and then at Target, I bought these. Aha! Sparkling waters. We have the lime and watermelon. The blueberry and pomegranate the citrus and green tea, and the orange and grapefruit. And then at um, an Asian market called DY Market, um, I want to thank Jessica for telling me about this market uh, because we found all kinds of goodies to try. Uh, these are their wafer cookies. Uh, and I'm thinking these were like in Taiwan, uh, but we will, yeah, they're a product of Taiwan. We'll, we'll talk about them when we do the video. Uh, so we bought the coffee, the chocolate, the taro, taro, uh, the vanilla, the lemon, and the strawberry. Then these look like high chews, and they were sitting next to the high chews. So that's what I'm thinking. It says they're soft, uh, gummy and soft candies. This is the mango cola um, Ramoon so soda, and then we have grape, strawberry, and melon, and then we have the Caplico. Uh, this I don't know what to expect from this. Look like ice cream cones. It like does marshmallow -y. with like maybe strawberry candy, and then this one looks like it's like with vanilla candy and chocolate and strawberry and chocolate, and then this is that same brand, but it's a giant Caplico, and it. Um, it's just chalk. It looks like crunchy chocolate. So I don't. I don't know what to expect from that. Then um, these are. Um, I, they look like little gummy candies, and uh, so I have no idea. This one looks like it might be tangerine. Oh yeah, it probably does say on the back. Gummy candy. Orange. Orange flavor. This one is the apple flavor and this one should be probably grape yeah grape flavor and then these are the miji gummy chocos and this is the um i don't know i don't know what these are these are a fruits mix this is strawberry and then this is mus musket i don't looks know like, looks like apple but it's... yeah i don't know i don't know i'll, I'll look it up and then at a, a candy a company called Sharps Candies, I want to thank Patrick for telling me about Sharps Candies. It's been in Lexington for 50 years, and we did not know about it until Patrick told us about it. So we bought some a dark chocolate buttercream, 
a milk chocolate buttercream, a bourbon cream in dark and milk, and then we bought a coconut in dark and milk, and then um, this is a chocolate truffle egg, a maple egg, I think uh, a maple pecan. Then we have a way in the back a vanilla pecan. We bought two of those by accident. Uh, we bought a whipping cream egg, a peanut butter egg, and then this is a peanut butter coated uh, peanut butter uh, egg with peanut butter coating. This one is a trophic, uh, tr chocolate truffle pecan egg, and this is a, a caramello egg. So we'll do review all those. And then lastly, at um, the Good Foods Co-op, uh, we bought these little secrets. These are chocolate eggs and peanut butter and dark chocolate and sea salted almonds and dark chocolate. And then the Choco Love, uh, we bought the dark chocolate salted caramel, the milk chocolate marshmallow filled egg. These are all eggs for Easter. The dark, dark chocolate almond butter and the milk chocolate peanut butter filled eggs. And then these wild chips, we have actually um, tried, we've done a review of all of these before, except for the oh. jalapeno. So these are chips, but they're made with chicken instead of made with uh, potato. So I figured Andrew's on keto, he can look at it and see if it's something he can eat. So we bought him the sea salt and vinegar. We did buy jalapeno chicken, Nashville hot, and the chicken and waffles. And like I said, we have reviewed these before. They were in different bags. Um, so if you're interested, you can look those up. So I'm gonna add this to the grocery haul. We're gonna end up taking this uh, back to Home Goods. Uh, Kevin was removing the uh, sticker, and you know you look really, really good at these bowls um, in the store for cracks. But he did not see this. There is a crack running all the way down through here. Uh, so we will take this back to Home Goods. I've had to remove a Mason Cash bowl in the past. Uh, sorry. What did I say? Remove? <laughs> Sorry. I've had to return a Mason cash bowl in the past. And the thing is, is they don't have any to replace it with. So you just have to go in there and get your money back. But I mean, I can fill that. Um, so anyway, that'll be, I'll just have one of the size instead of two. At Walmart, I bought these Betty Crocker no-bake cookie dough bites. This is the cookies and cream with vanilla flavored drizzle, and it looks like you do need some uh, cream cheese. I haven't read the back, but I'm, uh, yeah, you need a half a cup of cream cheese and some butter as well. Uh, this is the, it says new Duncan Hines perfect size chocolate chip cookie cake. Uh, this is a perfect size for one chocolate peanut butter cake. And this doesn't say new, it's Duncan Hines, but it is a walnut brownie. And somehow we just, you know, there's flavors out there that we haven't reviewed. We've reviewed a ton of them though. This is the Duncan Hines Mega Cookie. The difference between these and the ones we've that were also Duncan Hines was those were frozen. These are shelf stable. And I'm also looking for another one. So this is sugar cookie. And then this is the double chocolate chunk. I bought the Keto Duncan Hines Keto Friendly Double Chocolate Cake Mix. And then I bought a Duncan Hines Mermaid Cake Cup. And then I'm thrilled about these. Uh, Nutter Butter Double Nutty. I cannot wait to get into those. And then at Meyer, we bought some, um, uh, let me show you these first. We bought some Friskies Party Mix. I bought a double thing for chapel. I finally found the Kind Frozen. Rachel had told me about these ages ago on Instagram, and we're just getting them in our area. So we have the um, uh, dark chocolate almond sea salt and the dark chocolate peanut butter. Uh, we bought some Briars ice cream to try. They're, they all have seals on them, so I was totally willing to try them. We have the Cinnabon the brownie cheesecake, the s'mores, and then there's a limited edition caramel apple pie that we haven't tried either. Um, we found uh, this uh, Gino's East. Uh, well, first, I'm gonna show you these in a minute anyway. We went to Aldi. So at Aldi, we found these two Gino's East pizzas. We found the deluxe cheese and the sausage and pepperoni. So then we were in Meyer, and Meyer actually had three varieties. Meyer also had the uncured pepperoni. The only difference is all these is like 70 cents cheaper. So just know that. But if you if you have a Meyer, they have all three of them. And then uh, John had told me that he does not like the Paziki uh, from Meyer. However, we found some at Aldi, 
and these are the Bavarian cream. And so I thought, you know what? I want to do a taste test to see which one we like better. So I went ahead and bought the Bavarian cream at Meyer. So we're, we're going to give them a try. They had raspberry as well. They had all kinds of flavors a couple of weeks ago. But I bought Bavarian just so we could compare apples to apples. And then um, at Aldi, I bought the, uh, these are called melts. They're like, they look like cookies. Uh, I bought the hazelnut the chocolate and the peanut butter and then um these are mama cozy's uh pizza kitchen these are pepperoni a pe pepperoni pizza ring and a supreme pizza ring and then i showed you the pizzas the cheese and the sausage and pepperoni uh kevin found these uh, chips these are pancetta and parmesan kettle chips and then uh, we've never tried any of their uh drinks so um let me get back here. These are just the uh, sparkling waters. So we bought a berry and a lemon lime and a grapefruit. Now they did have regular water. I wasn't going to buy the regular water. So that's, you know. Um, and then these are called fit and active. So we bought the cranberry, the lemonade, the strawberry lemonade, and the mango tropical. And those were the only four flavors our Aldi had. Okay, so we went to our local Walmart. Uh, we bought, uh, so you saw we bought the chocolate chip, uh, perfect size Duncan Hines. This is the double fudge brownie. Uh, we bought some cream cheese. Uh, we bought a full block because we found, okay, so earlier we had another no bake with vanilla. This is the chocolate brownie with chocolatey drizzle. And then this is the birthday cake. So each one of these takes uh, a third. A third of a cup of cream cheese. So basically, you're going to divide this into three, right? Yep. So one eight ounce, if you buy one eight ounce block, you divide that into three, and then you have enough for three of these mixes. Um, so then we found there are three of these mega cookies. This is the third one. Uh, this is the chocolate chunk. Uh, we found uh, some Birch Benders pancakes a la cup. So we tried the, were they called cupcake or something like that? So these are also uh, keto friendly. This is the chocolate chip. And these are the classic maple. We found another one of the Duncan Hines cake cups. This is called a galaxy cake cup. This one is chocolate. So we'll be trying it with the other ones that we found. Uh, we bought uh, regular Nutter Butter cookies. And we bought a uh, Bisquick Burstin Flavor, or, or Flavor Burstin, sorry. Uh, this one is chocolate chip. This one is uh, maple brown sugar. And then we bought a box of Ritz crackers.